Alright folks, welcome back to another video. Hopefully y'all are enjoying uh, twice a week and hopefully better quality. I think it's higher quality anyway, I've been trying to edit them more. But anyway, we're gonna get in the video, I'm not gonna talk too much. This is a little box full of goodies here. I probably titled it something along the lines of the clickbait, because I know that's the newer bait, and it's mainly what I'm going to be talking about in this video, but first I'm just going to unbox everything, and then towards the end I'll talk about it a little more. So yeah, I did not get all Guggen baits, I actually got a little bit of merchandise as well. I have a hoodie and a hat, which is basically what I got. Again, I got another hoodie and hat. Here's the hat. If you want to skip through the merch, that's what I'm going to go through first. And then you can skip to the part where I start going through the baits, but I did get a few baits. So yeah, I already do have a Guggen hat. Except for I decided to get another one. Uh, this is a camo one. You might be wondering where my other hat is since I haven't been wearing it much lately. And I actually left it at my cottage and we're probably not going to go there for another month. So I thought, you know what, I might as well wear another hat. In my opinion, I really like the Guggen Squad hats. We're just going to throw that on the rest of the video. It's got the net style on the back. Nice and breathable, especially in the summer where I'll be sweating. Here's what it looks like real quick. There's all the baits I got. You can see stacked up on top of the hoodie, but got a hoodie as well. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna go through the merch before we actually go through the baits. That way you can skip through this part if you wanna see the baits. Honestly, they didn't have much of a hoodie selection or really any merch, really. I was I was looking at getting a t-shirt, but I didn't really like their designs. It was just, I don't know. It was kind of like random logos and like, I don't know, I just didn't personally like it. I'm gonna wait to get t-shirts until it's like the Guggen Squad logo. I had to get over $100 in order to get free shipping because the shipping was like 20 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I might as well spend another 10 bucks. So I got this hoodie. This is the Open Sniff Catch Bait and Tackle. Guggen Squad established in 2016. Yeah, this size medium, I, I don't think you guys care, but hopefully it fits me a little better because the Guggen, the other Guggen one, it's literally chilling right behind the camera, but the other Guggen one is a size small and it was getting a little small for me and just clothes in general are getting small for me. So I guess I'm up to medium. I'm a big boy now. But anyway, I'm gonna throw this on enough talking about it. I think this is a little bit different material than the other hoodie, but definitely a lot lighter material compared to the um, original Guggen Squad hoodie that I had. I'll, com I'll compare it in a bit, but camera angle's not set up very good. I'm gonna stand up real quick. Don't mind the old pajamas. There, that looks a little better. Guggen Squad bait and tackle. Um, I thought this was the best hoodie that they had. I don't know, I think they went through, I think they actually just got rid of the hoodie that's right behind the camera. I uh, just grabbed it. This is the hoodie I got a few months ago. As you can see, the material's a lot thicker. They had this hoodie on the website for like at least a year, I think maybe two years. I think it's one of the more OG hoodies. I don't know, but apparently they just stopped selling it, so I'm glad I got it while I could. But that's definitely a lot thinner material than this, if you see just the hood alone, you can tell. It's a lot thinner. I'm not complaining though. You already know it's all about being comfy. But anyway, um, it's not all about the merch. I know, I really like merch. I think that if you really like a company, or even like a YouTuber in general, I think that the whole concept of the Guggen Squad is really inspiring to me. I said this many times in multiple of my videos. I'm not gonna go on and on about that. I actually did not order many baits. I thought I remembered ordering more, but apparently I didn't. I guess we'll go over what I have never got before. So long story short, I only bought four baits. I thought, I swear I ordered like seven or eight at least. Apparently I only ordered like 20 bucks worth of baits. I guess I was being, being cheap, but I think I'm gonna be ordering more. I don't know, I'm slowly getting more and more baits. So I'm gonna try to fill in the holes with these tackle videos. Kind of talk about what I got. This is my first ever Guggen hard bait. I have never had a crank bait, jerk bait, anything really besides a soft plastic or a frog from Guggen baits. But in my opinion, this thing looks pretty sick. This is the, what color is this? The Citrus Shad. This is the Citrus Shad Banger. It's basically a square little crank bait. We're gonna crack this thing open, see what it feels like. Oh. There's a treble hook right in my foot right now. Well, looks like the old crankbait slipped out. Yeah, there's literally a treble hook in my toe. Ah, there we go. That thing looks sick. Honestly, just the paint job alone on this thing. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that square bill. I can guarantee you after a few months of using this thing, that lip is gonna be destroyed. Hopefully we can have some tooth marks on it. But yeah, I'm excited for this thing. This little guy is definitely gonna be pretty good for bouncing off the rocky areas I'm planning to fish this spring. I don't know, apparently red is a really good color for pre-spawn, really pisses them off, but we're gonna set this little banger off to the side. My first ever Guggen hard bait. Next, we got the Guggen Explode Toads. Um, I actually already have these. I have these in the green pumpkin color. This is actually green pumpkin pearl. Basically the same thing except for this has white on the bottom, which I think is a completely different color of bait. Green pumpkin and green pumpkin pearl, in my opinion, are completely different. When you got the white underbelly, 
it's a big game changer. Um, when they first dropped on the website like a few months ago, I really wanted the Green Pumpkin Pearl, but they were all sold out. That literally looks like a candy that you would get in the candy store, literally. I swear there's like a candy that looks just like this that I used to always get when I was a little kid. I don't know, I might just be weird. So we're gonna open these up in case if you didn't see my first Guggen unboxing. I think these are gonna be really good top water. Basically like a little buzz bait, except for it's more subtle. And I'm planning on using this on the trailer as a trailer on a buzz bait. It's got that nice little hook guide right there. I think the ribs and the little kickers, I think that, I don't know, I think that's just gonna look really good. Just imagine your bass and you look up and you see this little white underbelly, maybe a little bit of side profile of the green pumpkin you're gonna think that's a nice little toad ready to be munched this comes with five I've never used a horny toad or any other type of soft plastic toad before so I'm looking forward to using these in the summer hopefully maybe even late spring I just can't get over the smell of Guggen baits if you've never tried it you got to get you some it's just one more bait to add to my tackle bag up next, we got the Guggen Filthy Frog. Uh, I have the Poppin' Filthy Frog. It's basically like a little, I don't know, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. It's basically the walk-in frog or the Filthy Frog, except for it's got the little lip and you just pop it or you can walk it as well. But I have not used it since it's winter time here and there's ice. Yeah, up north, we can't go frog fishing when there's more than a foot of ice on the lake. This is in the bullfrog color. I don't know why I didn't take it out of the casing yet. Oh, this has kind of got a little scent. That's interesting, because the because the poppin' frog definitely didn't have a scent, and it smelled like plastic. This has got a little scent to it. I don't have many frogs. I just, I, I didn't really frog fish much last year. I maybe had like one or two frogs, and I mainly just, I don't know, I mainly use jigs and Texas rigs and all that. But this little guy looks pretty good. I mean, I don't go frog fishing much. But I'm planning on going frog fishing more. This is the bullfrog color. I think that's going to look pretty good in the water. Got the Guggen Squad eyes on basically almost all of their baits. I really like that they always got the Guggen Squad eyes. You always know it's a Guggen bait when you see it. And then you got to eat me. I think that's really funny. I'm probably going to trim these. These are like almost three inch long dangly danglies. Legs or whatever you call them. When I did use top water last year, I usually, I mainly use like the poppers, like on a spinning rod, just like with the treble hooks, you know? I don't know. That looks pretty juicy to me. So yeah, we're going to throw that in the tackle box along with the banger and the toad. And last and not last and definitely not least we got the Guggen squad clickbait i don't use again i also don't use chatter baits much i didn't last year at least i've been fishing almost my whole life like basically since i could pick up a rod but i've only really been bass fishing like going for bass was like two or three years ago and i got more serious into it last year so again some of these baits are newer to me i have thrown chatter baits i just have not had much luck on them so i typically don't throw them very often but i just have not thrown a good quality one like i haven't even thrown like the original z-man chatter baits like the only thing i've thrown were like cheap walmart brand or fleet farm brand like just generic store brand like the cheap chatter baits so that's probably why i haven't been catching fish on them right now before i've ever thrown a high quality bladed jig i would personally rather throw a spinner bait but that's just based off of throwing cheap lures i don't know i'm trying to get more expensive stuff higher quality hopefully not snap off but i don't know let's crack into this I gotta say, Guggen Baits has some pretty good packaging. I don't think these things are getting destroyed unless if you run it over with your car. These clamshells are really secure. I really like how they clamshell basically everything. Even their soft plastics, like their Sankos and all that. I don't think any other company does that. This is my first time holding the Guggen Squad clickbait. This is either the newest or second oldest. I think the Guggen Baits Contender swim bait came out, might have came out after this or the same time as this, but. That's the blade. Uh, this is metal, um, just realized that. Uh, so yeah, I think the reason I'm not catching much chatterbait fish is because the chatterbaits I buy have a plastic blade. That's probably why I don't catch many chatterbait fish, and I think that a spinnerbait's better. But hey, I can't wait to try this out. I think pre-spawn, uh, or maybe even just the spawn. I think that this might be a good spawn lure, not pre-spawn, but like when they're on their bed spawning. It's nice and white. I'm gonna pair it up with a, oh, I just stabbed myself. But anyway, I'm gonna pair it up with a white saucy swimmer. I already have those, so I don't have, to, I don't even have to buy those. It's got the double hook keeper. So it's kind of like the jackhammer um, chatterbait. It's kind of weird to explain. Here, I gotta put my hand behind it. 
All right, you can see right there, that's the metal hook keeper. And then there's like, there's like a lead or tungsten, whatever this material is, there's like another hook keeper there. I don't know how to explain that, but double hook keeper. Again, it's got the Guggen Squad eye. I know it's kind of hard to see with the fish tank. The lighting is really low. I wish it was a little brighter, but my ceiling light is Duke. I'm going to go a little more into detail into the chatterbait, <clears throat> into the bladed jig. Oh, Bob just went top water over there. All right. Uh, getting a little distracted here. Bob apparently just went top water. I don't know if the camera picked that up. It might be a blurry background when I get closer to the camera, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go more into detail on the on the chatter dong as kicking their bass TV calls it. I think Guggen Baits recently started to do this. I know it's hard to see because it's kind of got like a pink tint to it, but it does say half ounce right there. So that, that way you're not second guessing yourself thinking, oh, I don't know if this is a half ounce or a quarter ounce or a, or a three eighths ounce. Like it says right on there. That's one really good thing about it. Another thing is I know I shouldn't be comparing this to any other baits besides like the cheap ones, which isn't even like a good comparison really. I have seen plenty of jackhammers and just original Z-Man chatterbaits. I have seen plenty of original Z-Man chatterbaits and even the jackhammer chatterbaits and neither of them have this design this is a very unique design i was watching a guggen squad video and they're talking about their clickbait and how they have this weird design with the wire where it's kind of like a triangle looking thing and then they've got the three beads on the bottom it kind of looks a little weird but they said that the reason they do that is so that the bait stays in the water column okay so say you you throw it out you let it sink to the bottom and then you want to fish it suspended so you fish it like Say the water level's here, and the bottom of the screen right here is the bottom. Say you fish it down to the bottom, or you let it sink to the bottom, and then you want to have it just suspended. So then you reel it in like that, and it won't it won't go up and down. Like if I don't know how to explain it, but I the, the the cheap ones definitely did that. It was super annoying when it would go down and up in the water column. When I wanted to keep it at like just a foot off the bottom, it would be super annoying, and it kept going down. And then I'd reel up too fast, and it would subsurface and then it would just i don't know ruin my whole cast had to be very precise with the plastic blades i don't know i'm i'll probably i'll probably eventually do a, a z-man versus guggen baits and compare their clickbait versus chatterbait but yeah i could talk about a bait all day i could go into every single small detail when it comes to the skirt the the hook how long it is all that kind of stuff I don't think I need to, but I'm definitely slowly getting addicted to Guggen Baits as you guys probably see in my videos. I don't know when this video will come out because I don't know if I go ice fishing, I'm going to probably push those videos to the front of the line. So if I go, I might go ice fishing tomorrow. Actually, I don't know. I'm definitely ice fishing on the weekend. I just don't know if I'm ice fishing tomorrow. But anyway, if I do go ice fishing tomorrow, that video will come out the video before this one. I don't know. Who knows? This video could come out a month from now if the fishing is really good. Everyone drop a comment. What is your favorite pre-spawn? spawn and post spawn lures like what is your favorite lure for pre-spawn what's your favorite for when they're spawning or when they're on beds moved up shallow and what is their favorite post spawn for when they're off of their beds and they're feeding up for the summertime but anyway i'm gonna add all these to the arsenal i've definitely blown almost 200 bucks on baits the last month and i'm planning on buying more last year i was kind of being a little cheap i didn't buy much tackle last year i spent it more on like other things like camera gear and all that but now i have no excuses i have a good camera I have a good GoPro, I have a laptop I could edit my videos on. Now I just need fishing stuff in general. So the rest of the year, I'm not spending any money on camera gear, maybe a few mounts and small stuff like that. But I'm gonna try to focus my money on the fishing stuff because I have the quality. I have the camera, it's got focus on it. I've got the MacBook, it's got editing software, uploads pretty good pretty fast running computer. I've got two GoPros. I have no excuses. I just need to spend it all on fishing on fishing gear right now. Cause there's no point in all this expensive equipment if I can't catch fish for y'all. I'm really sorry about these boring videos in the winter. I'm trying to make them as entertaining as possible. Trying to get a, maybe a little bit of tips and tricks as I learn along the way and hopefully teach you guys as well. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the pre-spawn. I can't wait for the ice to melt. As much as I do like freezing my cheeks off to barely catch a few bluegill through the ice. Still haven't even caught a bass through the ice. I've tried very hard. Have went out probably a dozen or more times have not caught a bass through the ice yet hopefully we can at least catch one through the ice i know my friend did in that one video he caught one or two but anyway i'm gonna stop talking i know you guys have seen the baits you're about to click off so thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video